the most important thing of achieving, it's about releasing. My whole life I've been an achiever. Since I remember being a little kid, I not only loved to run, but I had to be the best at running. Not only at school, but also in the whole country where I was at. The same was with every other sport I practiced. Tennis, swimming, then I came into lifting weights. And it's not only about having the best body of my class, but of the whole school. Crazy things that I've done all the time in order to achieve something that is not really achievable from the outside. You see, even when I found my purpose and I knew it was all about serving others, I loved coaching, I loved teaching others to connect with their greatness, but I had to study all the techniques, all the methodologies, read all the books, go to all the trainings. There was always this need inside that I was never enough, that I needed so much more in order to help them. And same was in every area of my life. When I started my business, I grew my business from having it 20 people coming to my healing center, to 40 people, to 60 people, then it was 100, then it was 300, and it was never enough. I had to grow more and more. I had to get a land that I couldn't even pay. I got in debt. I was pushing it so hard. Until one day, I saw myself bursting, completely burned out. I didn't know what to do. I was full of doubt. I was full of fear. And I was supposed to be helping people from this space. That day, when I felt I was exploding, I united my family and I told them, I just can't do this anymore. I feel this is too much for me, for all of you. I am sorry. I have been so angry lately, so stressed out. My energy hasn't been good. I just started crying and accepting that I just couldn't deal with this anymore, that I couldn't push anymore, that I was ready to let go and release my attachments and that need for approval and for always being the best. I learned that everything is done with patience, with love, with just feeling good with ourselves. So maybe the next time you feel so hungry for achieving, yes, keep that fire, keep that passion. That passion is great. But remember, it's not all in your hands. We have to learn to release, to relax, to enjoy life and be the best we can be. And then knowing, trusting, that life is supporting us all the time.